was happening is we were we were reaching our capacity of 100 students on this class and so people were getting kicked out um, so now we have a much much bigger um, capacity and for what it's worth and i think that this um, this is always like really hopeful for me there's over 125 of you uh, in this class today so joining us from all over the place which is really um, really special and heartwarming so we're going to get started um, so go ahead and wherever you are i want you to either take a seat or lie down whatever's more comfortable in your body just take a moment to get yourself situated get yourself adjusted <clears throat> Close this. Okay, everybody's muted. All right. And just let yourself land. So one of the things that uh, Carrie and I have been talking about um, together in these practices, in the email that we sent out to everybody is that now is really the time to uh, get consistent with uh, our practices and really any of our practices that um, ground us, help nourish our nervous systems, right? Because we're all fried. Uh, we're all kind of in a state of chaos and crisis uh, to varying degrees as we step into this unknown and as things are changing so rapidly, so rapidly and constantly having to adjust. So things like our yoga practice or being outside or any other movement therapies, like, you know, anything that you have, uh, including how you're feeding yourself oh, to just catch our breath, to just catch our breath. So take a moment, get situated in your body again, whether you're landing, lying down or seated. If you're lying down, you're welcome to maybe bend your legs, plant your feet on the ground. Might feel a little better for your back. And maybe bring a hand onto your belly or two hands onto your belly. If you're seated, find a tall spine. Let your hands land on your lap or on your thighs. Again, in any way that's comfortable. Let's take a deep breath. Open the mouth, exhale. A long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, make some sound. Ha 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 ha. One more time. And then let your mouth close and let the breath be in and out through the nose if that's possible for you. And you don't need to change the breath at all. Just start to settle down, start to slow down, start to find your natural rhythm. Let the breath be easy, natural, smooth and quiet. And really feel into the ground beneath you, the steady, stable, solid floor beneath you. And let whatever part of your body is touching the ground really rest down into the ground. One of the things that I shared yesterday uh, in Carrie's class and that I've been speaking uh, about with some of my friends is this need to bring some stability into my life and into the day to day and like bringing some structure back instead of all of this chaos and responding to social media and the news and text, just it feeling a little crazy. And so one of the things that I did this morning is I woke up as if it, as if it was Monday morning and I did what I normally do in the morning, have my hot water and lemon, do my practice, you know, all, all of that just kind of normal routine to just create some structure. And when I was doing my practice this morning, uh, what came to me is something one of my teachers said to me before, a couple years ago when 
our, our community uh, was moving through something on a on a personal level, and we we're in a you know a lot of grief and mourning together. She said, "Extraordinary moments require an extraordinary amount of space. Extraordinary moments require an extraordinary amount of space." And so this reminder for all of us, mm -hmm. so this reminder for all of us that we need to give ourselves some space right now, some space to get grounded, some space to get clear, some space so that we're, we're not so reactive. And that space could look different for all of us. It could be a deep breath in and out. It could be taking a time out and just stepping out of the room or the conversation that you're in for a minute. It could be taking a walk around the block in a socially responsible way. It could be taking a whole day before you make a decision. But giving yourself some space, giving each other some space, it's gonna be really important. And the breath is a tool to help us find that spaciousness. So now I'll invite you to go ahead and start to lengthen your inhales and exhales without forcing it. So that way you start to slow things down, stretch things out. One breath at a time, one breath at a time. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your belly. For right now, no rush and nothing is higher priority than you taking care of yourself in this time that you've carved out for yourself. It will have a ripple effect into the rest of your day, the rest of your conversations, the rest of your relationships. So again, deep, slow breath in. Deep, slow breath out. And then I invite you to take your hands, place them on top of your heart or bring your hands together in prayer position. Let's anchor into this individual and collective intention that extraordinary moments require an extraordinary amount of space. Committing to giving ourselves space and time to feel this, to move through this, to take care of ourselves, and to take care of each other. Extraordinary moments require an extraordinary amount of space. And then together, take a deep breath in. Open your mouth. And then release your hands. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them. And we're gonna come up to standing. So we're gonna start standing. Mm -hmm. All right, take yourself to standing. Take a moment to just kind of walk in space a little bit and start to shake out your body. Start to shake out your body and start to loosen everything up. If you're like me, you've been holding on tight, gripping, tensing. So just kind of shake some of it out, whatever feels good. Buzzing the lips helps release tension in the face, in the brain, in the jaw. Like you're a piece of jello or a piece of spaghetti. <laughs> All right. Then plant your feet on the ground, either hip width distance or a little bit wider, wherever you feel stable, and the feet are pointing straight ahead. Take your arms down by your side, lift the shoulders up so you can rotate the hands forward. 
drop your tailbone, lift up through the crown of the head, and find a little bit of engagement through your belly, through your center. And we're gonna start to synchronize movement and breath here. So moving slowly, we move with breath. As you inhale, stretch the arms out and up. Look up, you could touch the palms if you want. Exhale, flip the palms away from you, reach out and down, chin to the chest. Turn the palms up, inhale, reach out and up, look up, lift the chin. Exhale, flip the palms down, reach out and down, arms by the side, chin to the chest. Breath and movement together, three more times, inhale. Exhale, drop the chin, reach the arms out and down. Two more, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, reach out and down, look down. And one more on your own. And keep your arms by your side, keep your chin down, take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good, bring the head back to neutral. Start to circle the shoulders out. And let the whole arm start to get in on the movement. So you're making a couple big, slow arm circles. Take your time, slow it down, slow it down. Do a couple the other way. So start with shoulder rolls first. Get the whole arm involved. Good, and then just release the arms down by the side. Turn your head left and right slowly, loosening up the neck muscles, upper back muscles. Good, then bring your hands onto your hips. So you might need to take your feet a little bit wider. We're gonna do something that requires a little bit of balance. So if you need to slide over to a wall, use a wall, you can. So you're gonna root down into your left foot and just lift the right leg out to the side a little bit. Good, the toes can always stay on the ground or you're gonna lift the leg up. Flex your foot, feel your butt muscles engage a little bit. Good, take a breath in here. And then exhale, lower the foot back down to hover or foot touches the ground. Inhale out to the side. Exhale, bring it back down. Good, do it two more times. Just start to feel that in the outer hip, the outer butt muscle. Good, then lift the leg up, bend the knee, and start to circle the hip out. Okay, you can always use a wall for support, or the foot can come back down and touch the ground. Take your time, go the opposite way. Find a focal point, one thing to look at, that'll help with balance. And then just give that leg a shake and release it down to the ground, pause. Hmm. All right, root down into your right leg. Lift the left leg out to the side. Doesn't have to be that much, you don't wanna tilt the whole torso. The foot can stay on the ground or you lift the foot up, flex the foot. Take a breath in here, exhale, lower the leg. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, two more times. No rush, slow. The next time the legs is out to the side, bend the knee, start to circle the hip out. Good, go the other way. and then give that leg a good shake and release the foot to the ground. Good, I'm gonna turn myself so you can see me. You can stay as you are. Feet right underneath the hips. You're gonna take a little bit of a squat so you're in chair pose, bring your hands onto your thighs. Keep the belly tone that supports the lower back. We're gonna move the spine here a little bit. So as you inhale, open the chest. So you're doing a little bit of a back bend. And then as you exhale, round the spine, pull the belly in and up, chin to the chest. Good, sit the hips down, inhale, open the chest, draw the shoulders back, the elbows back. Exhale, round the spine, squeeze your belly in and up, in and up, in and up, chin to chest. Good, two more times, inhale, chest opens, exhale, spine rounds. 
the last one, inhale. And exhale. And then inhale, stand all the way up, sweep your arms up to the sky and release your arms down by your sides. Take your feet apart a little bit wider than your hips. Turn your toes out just slightly, just a little bit. We're gonna do some, um, some standing squat flows again. Get into the hips, get into the lower back. So arms start down by the side. Take a breath in, reach up. Exhale, sit down into the hips, squeeze the knees open, reach the arms down, cross the wrists. Inhale, stand up, push into the feet, reach high. Exhale, sit down, see if you can cross the opposite wrist in front, right? It's gonna make you pay attention. Inhale, stand up and reach. Exhale, sit down, cross opposite wrist in front. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, big inhale, push down into your feet. Exhale, take that squat. And then inhale, stretch and reach it up. Bring your hands together, step your feet together, hands at the heart. Good, breath in. And breath out. All right, feet can stay together or back to hip width distance apart, arms down by the sides. We're gonna move into some half salutes. So open the chest, lift through the crown of the head. Again, moving slowly and with your own breath. Inhale, reach out and up, look up. Exhale, reach out and down, bend your knees, fold all the way forward, hands to the ground or to your shins, let the head drop. Bring your hands up to your thighs. Inhale, look forward and lengthen, so you stretch the spine out. Exhale, fold, release the head and the neck. Good, inhale, rise all the way up to stand, stretch the arms out and up, look up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Release the arms down by the side. Same thing again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach out and down. Fold all the way forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Drop the head. Hands to the thighs. Inhale, look forward. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Relax the head and the neck. Push into your feet. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart arms by the sides one more time inhale reach up exhale fold forward hands to thighs inhale pull the chest forward look forward exhale fold all the way up big breath in hands to the heart breath out and again just pause here breathe in and breathe out All right, release the arms. You're gonna step your feet apart wide so however you need to orient yourself on your mats. Separate your feet wide so you're in a standing straddle. And right now your feet will be pointing straight ahead. So the same, the same direction that your hips and your shoulders are facing. Take your arms out wide into a T. Wrists in line with the shoulders. And then take your right foot and point it to the right. So now it's uh, pointing to like three o'clock. Good, take a breath in here. Exhale, bend into your right knee so you're in a warrior two stance. So you have a nice long stance. If your front knee's passing your front ankle, make your stance longer. And then I want you to push down into your feet. Push down into your feet. Good, take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then we're gonna move here. So inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. Maybe touch the palms, maybe not. Exhale, palms down, back to warrior two. Inhale, reach up, breathe, lengthen, push into the feet. Exhale, bend the front knee, squeeze it open as you reach your arms out. You're gonna do three more, your own breath and pace. Inhale. Exhale. No rush, inhale, breath stays in and out of the nose if you can. And exhale. Good, one more cycle, inhale. And exhale. Stay here in your warrior two. Take your left hand to your left hip. You're gonna turn your right palm up and you're just gonna reach it straight up to the sky. 
Okay, pushing down through the feet, bend into that front knee. Take a deep breath in here, reach that right arm up. And then as you exhale, just tilt back a little bit, reach up and over. So you're stretching into the right side of the body. Keep trying to squeeze your right knee open. Good, take another breath. Come back to your warrior two, straighten your front leg. Take your right hand, bring it to your right thigh. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Good, pushing into your feet, take a big breath in, lift up through that left side. And then as you exhale, now start to tilt the other way and let your right hand slide down your leg to whatever is a comfortable distance for you. Triangle pose. Push into your feet, open the chest. You can look up or look down, whichever feels better for your head or neck. Now find the breath here. Good, take another breath. Look down, push into your feet, rise back up. Hands to your hips, turn your right foot in. Switching sides, turn your left foot out, so now it points to nine o'clock on a clock. Good, arms out into a T. Root down into your feet, take your gaze over your front fingers, your left fingers, take a breath in. And then exhale, bend into that front knee, warrior two. Keep pushing down through your feet. Try to keep your shoulders right over top of your hips. And then we'll move. Good, inhale, straighten both legs, reach up, pull the belly in. Exhale, bend the front knee, reach the arms out, and look over the left fingers. Three more times, move with your own breath, slow. Inhale, reach it up, push into the feet, squeeze the belly. Exhale, warrior two, push the air down. One more cycle. Good, stay here, take your right hand to your right hip, reach your left arm just straight up to the sky to start. Take a breath in, get long up through that left side, and then exhale, start to tilt back, tilt back. As you do that, continue to bend the front knee and then breathe, breathe into that left lung. Another inhale and another exhale. Good, come back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, which is your left leg. Bring your left hand to your left thigh, right arm up to the sky. Push into the feet, this is grounding. Take a breath in, reach that right arm up. And then as you exhale, start to tilt to the left, just slide that left hand down to wherever is comfortable for you. So don't push it. Find that appropriate range of stretch where you can still breathe. Push into the feet, rotate your chest open. You can look up or down, set your gaze and breathe. Good, another breath in. As you exhale, look down. Push into the feet, rise back up. Hands to the hips, turn your left toes in. You might shorten your stance a little bit, so heel toe the feet, together a footprint. So we're kind of coming back to that squat stance, a wide squat. Turn both of your feet out slightly to like one o'clock and 11 o'clock on a clock. <laughs> you can reach your arms up to the sky. As much as you're pushing down through the feet, I want you to reach up through the hands, through the chest. Good, take a breath in here, big breath. As you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows. You're coming into goddess pose or standing frog. We're gonna move here, inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time, take a big breath in, reach up. As you exhale, stick out your tongue, let all the breath out as you sit. Good, staying here. 
right hand to right thigh or right elbow to right thigh. Reach your left arm up and overhead. So we're kind of combining these last three postures together. Good, squeeze the knees open. I know that your quads are probably burning a little bit. It's good, heat the body up. Come back through center, switch sides, left hand or left elbow to left thigh. Reach that right arm up and overhead. You got this, breathe. Come back to goddess pose, knees bent, elbows bent, spread the fingers wide, take a deep breath in. Lion's breath, tongue out. All right, hands to the hips, straighten the legs. Woo, feel that? Yeah, shake it out a little bit. You're gonna turn your feet to face forward. From here, take your hands behind you, catch them behind your back. So you're squeezing your upper arm bones together, trying to lift the hands off of the seat. Push into your feet, drop your tailbone. Take a deep breath in here. You're either gonna stay right here or go ahead, fold forward. Whew, fold forward. It's okay if the knees soften. If this feels like it's too much for your shoulders, you can release your hands to the mat. Might feel nice to shake the head out. Stretch out the jaw. Or buzz the lips a little bit. Hmm. And then everybody's gonna release the hands to the ground, look forward and lengthen. You're gonna heel toe your feet back to parallel. Bend your knees as much as you need to. So we can get your hands on the ground. If you have blocks at home, you can use blocks, but you don't need them. Take your right hand underneath the face, come up onto your fingertips, and then twist your left arm up to the sky. Start to straighten that left leg. It might not get all the way straight. You might feel some sensation, the outer left hip, glute, IT band. At the same time, I want you to try to open your chest, so lean back a little bit. Good, take a nice long breath. And then release, left hand down, fold over your legs, bend them as much as you need to. We'll switch sides, left hand underneath the face, come up to fingertips. And then inhale, twist the right arm up to the sky, start to pull your chest forward. And then start to straighten your right leg just as much as you can. So you start to feel that sensation. Spin the chest open, breathe. Good, one more breath. And then go ahead and release. Depending where you are on your mat and in your own space, you might walk the hands forwards or backwards. So that way you come into a plank position, top of a push up top of a push-up. Now, you can keep the knees lifted or tap the knees down for some support. Spread your fingers, root into the hands. Feel the belly pick in and up. And just feel heels press back, heart pulls forward. Give your tush a squeeze, right? Pulling into your center. This is good for focus. Pulling into center. Try to relax your jaw, take another breath here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna soften the knees if they're not already bent, slide your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So you can keep your knees super bent. You could also tap your knees down and kind of uh, press your chest down towards the ground, kind of puppy dog pose, getting that stretch in the spine. Or full downward facing dog. Pressing the thighs back, the heels down. Take another breath here. And then everybody will release their knees to the ground and just make your way all the way down onto your belly. All the way down onto your belly.
Straighten out your legs behind you. Straighten out your legs behind you. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. I do this, this sequence a lot. Hands underneath the shoulders. Slide the hands down towards your hips a little bit so the fingertips graze your low ribs. Pin your legs down. Peel your shoulders up. Push into your hands and then inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose. So your elbows are still bent and hugging in. Your tailbone reaches to the heels. Take an inhale, pump your heart forward, up and open. And then lower down nice and slow, vertebrae by vertebrae. Forehead touches the mat. Press into the hands, inhale, roll the spine up, lift the chest, lift the head. Exhale, roll it down. One more cycle like that, inhale. And exhale. Good, release your arms to the side, turn your cheek to one side, just rest. Just rest, just rest, let the body breathe. Let the body breathe. <sighs> Turn your cheeks to the other side. See, you can, see if you can move the breath down into your belly. So when you breathe in, the belly presses down into the earth. When you breathe out, just relax your body even more. And then bring your head back to center. Set up that cobra pose again, but we're going to do something different. So your legs are behind you, your hands graze your low ribs. And now what I'll ask you to do is step your hands wider so they come off of your mat and come up onto spider tip fingers. So your elbows point up towards the sky. Pin your legs down. Push into your spider tip fingertips and then inhale, lift the chest. So you're in this variation of cobra pose. Good, take a breath here, lift the chest. As you exhale, dip your right shoulder down, look left. You don't have to go all the way back down to the ground. Good, come back to center, lift up, bring your head to center. Dip that left shoulder down, whatever's a comfortable range of motion, look right. Inhale to center. Look left, dip that right shoulder. Inhale center, head to center. Dip the left shoulder, look right. One more time, inhale to center. Exhale left. Inhale to center. Exhale, look right. Good, come back to center. And then release yourself all the way down to the mat. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up through all fours. From all fours, you can make your way to standing or press it back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands and your feet together however you want to get there and just come back up to stand. Come back up to stand. So two balancing postures. Again, really good to kind of reset the nervous system and bring some more focus back in. So find something to look at in front of you that's not moving. You can really focus your gaze. We're going to come into tree pose. So standing on your right leg, bring your left foot up. Ankle, shin, or up to the inner thigh. Okay, you can use a wall. You can always keep the toes on the ground. Squeeze the foot and the thigh together, and then reach the arms up, perhaps. So root down through your standing leg. Root down, root down, root down. And breathe. release and switch sides. So standing on the left leg, bring the right foot up. Might be different on this side than the other side, that's all good. Root through that standing leg, you could reach the arms up if you like, if there's another arm variation, or if keeping hands on hips helps with balance, you could do that instead. 
focus and breathe. Good, another breath. And then really give it a shake. I'm gonna turn myself so you can see me a little bit better. Mm. So we're gonna stand on the right leg first. Again, you might need a wall for this. You're gonna reach back, catch a hold of your right foot. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna stay here. You're just gonna stay here. So I want you to lengthen the left knee down and then squeeze the left heel to your seat as much as you can. And then really drop the tailbone down. So you might feel a deeper stretch in the front of that left thigh, left hip. Your right hand can stay on your hip or the right hand can reach behind you and both hands are grabbing the foot as you hug the upper arm bones and the shoulders towards one another. It's okay if your gaze stays down, but try not to drop the head. Try not to drop the head, breathe. Whole body breathes. Good, release, shake it out and switch sides. So reach back, right hand to right foot. Take a moment, get your balance or find support of the wall. Drop that right knee down, lengthen your tailbone down as you hug heel the seat. One hand or maybe both hands reach back to grab that foot. Try not to drop your head. Focus. Good, another breath. And then release, give it a good shake out. And then you're just gonna come down to seated. You're just gonna come down to seated. So you could sit cross-legged. If it's better for you to extend the legs, you could do that. If you have a blanket or anything to sit on so we can elevate the hips, you could do that. And then you're gonna twist to the right. So you're gonna take left hand, uh, yeah, left hand to right knee, right hand behind the back. Turn your chest and see if you can breathe into the upper back, to the back of the lungs. Specifically, see if you can feel or imagine that you breathe into the back of your left shoulder. Gaze is on one spot, so unwavering gaze or close the eyes. Another long breath in and a long breath out. And then release, come back through center. Just switch sides, switch sides. And again, see here if you can feel or imagine moving the breath into the back of the body specifically up into the back of your right shoulder. You might feel that all the way up into the neck. Long, slow, deep breath in and deep breath out. Full inhale and full exhale. Release, come back to center. You're going to stretch your legs out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Take your right leg and fold it in. So it's kind of the same shape as tree pose, but now you're seated. The left leg stays extended, flex the foot. Press your fingers into the ground, sit up tall, press your left leg down, 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 down. 
And then inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Remember, don't force it. Let your hands land wherever they will. If your hamstring is tight, your low back is tight, you can bend that left leg a little bit. And then as best as you can, try to relax your head, your neck, and your shoulders a bit. Now let the breath start to become a little more natural. Quiet. Relax your face, unhinge your jaw, and let your tongue rest at the bottom of your mouth. Take another breath here. And then come on up and switch sides. Extend your right leg, fold your left leg in. Flex your right foot so toes up to the sky. Press your right leg down. Push into fingertips for a moment. Lift the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Hands land wherever they will without pulling or yanking. Take a breath. And then as best as you can, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Maybe close the eyes. Let the breath become quiet. Giving yourself this space. And then go ahead and release. Extend both the legs, shake them out a little bit. It might also feel really nice to pat down your legs inside and outside of the legs or kind of sweep them off. Grab your feet, give them a little love. And then come into a comfortable seated position. That could be cross-legged, it could be sitting on your heels. You could sit up in a chair. If you're near a wall, you can sit at a wall. this a little bit. Land your hands on your thighs, palms face down. I want you to feel your body and stack your shoulders right over top of your hips. So our tendency to, is to kind of round and slouch forward, sit up tall, even lean back a little bit. Let your elbows just soften. Feel the back of your neck grow long without jutting your chin up towards the sky. So the crown of the head lengthens towards the sky. The tailbone reaches down into the ground. Take a breath here, intentional breath. You're welcome to close your eyes. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna ask you to think about or feel into is an intention, a really practical intention for your afternoon. really practical intention. I shared with you that this morning I needed to just get up and do my normal routine because things aren't normal right now. So what is something you can do or need for yourself this afternoon that brings some stability and spaciousness back into your day? It might be drinking more water. It might be actually eating. It might be taking a nap. It might be organizing the rest of your day. 
it might mean reaching out and having a really heartfelt, honest conversation with someone about what's going on with you. But one intention, one practical intention. And I want you to, when you find it, just kind of say it over and over again to yourself. You could say it quietly. You could say it out loud. Take a breath. Mm. Commit to that. Commit to yourself. And then you can choose to stay here, seated in meditation for the rest of our practice, or go ahead and lie down on your back for Shavasana. So just lying down. Taking up your whole mat, right? Give yourself that space. Let the arms spread apart, let the legs spread apart. Might feel nice to rock the head a little for a moment. Wiggle the tush. If it's more comfortable for you to lay on your side or your belly, you can do that. But let yourself land here. Take the deepest breath in. You've taken all practice. Fill up. Keep filling, keep filling, keep filling. And then open your mouth. Ah. Give yourself permission to just rest here. Give yourself permission to rest. If only for two or three minutes. Stay here. This is perhaps the most important part of our practice. Where the nervous system resets. where we integrate the practice and the wisdom of the practice and our own lived experiences that remind us we have the tools we need to make the next right decision for ourselves, for our families, and for each other. Let yourself rest in that knowing, in that remembering. Allow the breath to gradually start to deepen. Rocking the head, wiggling the fingers and the toes, just waking yourself back up. Might feel nice to take a big stretch, reaching the arms overhead, reaching the legs along. And then squeeze your knees into your chest. Rock over to either side and bring yourself back up to seated, any way that's comfortable to sit.
Mm. Sit up nice and tall. You can keep your hands as they are. You can bring them to your heart. You can bring them to prayer position. Gently bow your chin to your chest. Take a full intentional round of breath in and out. Before we close our time together, I'd like you to try to bring three things to mind that you're grateful for today. Three things that you're grateful for. And again, these can be really practical things. I'm grateful that it is not the dead of winter, and darkness and coldness. I'm grateful for technology, the ability to Zoom or FaceTime and connect with people, including my family, and see their faces. I'm grateful for the ability to know how to prepare myself good, healthy food. Whatever your thing is, three things. Take a deep breath. We'll close our practice and our time together with the sound of Om. If you're at home, you can join in. You could just listen. Let's take a breath. May we remember that extraordinary moments require an extraordinary amount of space. May we gift that to ourselves and to each other. Namaste.